This morning on The Dish, a Philadelphia restaurant that just scored what may be the top prize in American culinary world history in June. Friday, Saturday, Sunday was named Outstanding Restaurant by the James Beard Foundation. And that was the thrill of a lifetime for the couple who bought and completely renovated a well-known Philly venue. Firing four sweetbread, one is a celery root. He's a Philly born and raised chef. Gnocchi with truffles, bar two, three. She's a former waitress, now manager. Crispy sweetbreads with a mushroom and plantain ragu, egg yolk jam, and mushroom vin blanc. Together, Hannah and Chad Williams are the power couple behind Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one of the city's longest running restaurants. How does the partnership work? It's a collaborative effort. You know, ideas go back and forth between us. I jump into her area, she doesn't like it. She jumps into mine, I don't like it. But at the end of the day, it's somebody you, you really trust. That trust allowed them to have a difference of opinion when they first set foot inside the restaurant. I walked out, I was like, no way. I took the video <laughs> and I like laughed and I was like, this isn't it. But Hannah saw things differently. Restaurant itself, like in its first iteration, kind of held significance for a lot of people. In its day, it was definitely known as like the most romantic restaurant in, in the city. And I think it needed some updating, certainly. But we wanted to put our own mark on it. And that's what they did. In 2014, the couple risked it all by buying it, gutting it, and with little to spare, got married in the kitchen. So is it true that the contractor you brought in actually married the two of you? Yes. We planned the wedding and we were eight months behind schedule with the restaurant, trying to find every dollar possible to get open. And we put on our suits, came down, there were construction workers here, and we kicked everybody out. For more than four decades, Friday, Saturday, Sunday has been a staple in Philly. This neighborhood looks pretty old. It's Rittenhouse, Philadelphia, one of the oldest neighborhoods here and you know, one of the wealthiest. As you can see, like the architecture just really gives the neighborhood such a great feel. So not a bad spot to be in. No, we have some great regulars, I'll say that. Those regulars had a hard time when the couple changed everything but the name. She got cursed out of the door a couple times. I mean, people walk out crying. They had attachments. It took folks a little bit of time to get used to us. Change is hard, and especially when, you know, you're keeping the name, people then assume that, okay, new ownership is coming in, and, you know, we're going to be able to go back and have that cream of mushroom soup we've been having for 40 years, and when they can't get that, people get upset, you know? Change is hard. One of the biggest changes came during the pandemic when they had to pivot okay. to a tasting menu. So our first course here is a tuna tart. You could open at 25% capacity. I mean, look around, 25% capacity for us, is, that was four tables. And we had to make a decision to do something that we could potentially try to make a living at. Charcoal grilled quail. When food hits your table, it's not the same bite from the first to the last. And a lot of that magic happens in that three, four minutes. I got to taste some of that magic starting with ember tomatoes served with corn pudding and corn butter. Yeah, so they're mm. grilled really, really lightly, so you get that smoky aroma. Yeah. And then the fresh, really, like, mm -hmm. aromatic corn. And the roe really pops. Pops, right? Pops. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Next was the beet anolati with buttermilk sauce and grilled blackberries. A little sweet, a little earthiness from the, the beets. So that one hits kind of all the notes there. Oh, my goodness. It's really good. Also part of the meal, roasted potato gnocchi, grilled quail, New York strip steak served with cabbage and oxtail. Then for dessert? Red summer fruit, goat's milk, tres leche, and roasted berry ice mm. cream with a little fermented uh, blackberry powder. So spring, summer, and fall, I would imagine, are just an it's abundance the best. And of it, it, seasonal delight. All the vegetables and fruits just really come at you so fast. It really brings like a certain energy to the kitchen. Tartar walking. Eight, nine. The business of cooking was a left turn for Williams. When you think about your influences, how much did your home, cooking inside the home, impact you? Well, my mother would want me to say a ton, and the truth is no. <laughs> we joke about it all the time. <laughs> she didn't cook, she worked, she was a teacher, and so was my father. During his time at Howard University, Williams started working at a Caribbean restaurant and never looked back. So between my junior and senior year in school, I worked every day seven days a week, and I said, if I still like this, after like wasting a summer, you know, in this kitchen, instead of out having fun, I'll do it.
He had to call his mom to tell her he wasn't going back to school. Tell me that conversation. She cried for years. She would call my boss and tell him to fire me weekly, every week, a call. From there, he went on to work at Michelin-starred restaurants like 11 Madison Park and Manresa before returning to his roots in Philly. Wales walking 2139. What did you learn there that you brought in here? It was always taste. You know, so much of cooking now can be like a visual exercise because in social media and you kind of, you see the food before you eat it. Pretty food. Pretty food. You know, we, we make things pretty, but always at the base of it is this care for the, the product right. that you receive. Our final savory course tonight, this is prime New York strip steak. That effort from Chad and Hannah led to this magical moment in Chicago at the James Beard Awards. Do you remember the night you won? They announced your name? I don't think any of us actually heard that. It's a big night for this town. Yeah, that's all we heard. That's what, that's what we heard and everybody, you didn't hear anything else. <laughs> big night for this town, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I watched it uh, probably 17,000 times because, <laughs> again, I, I don't believe that it happened to us. I get to wake up next to this woman every day and it is the best gift that life has given me. I love you. And longevity only happens with something special. There's something to be said about places that have lasted the test of time. So what inspires you knowing that? That it is possible. A very simple neighborhood restaurant when we open and the city and our guests have watched us grow and, and they, they pushed us. So we want to just fulfill that, that dream that we've been blessed with and, and see how far we can take it. All right, walking two fish, 39. Oh, and I'm telling you, every bite, and you only get three bites <laughs> per <laughs> dish, is just sensational. Uh, Jeff asked, you know, best outstanding restaurant. So they won for outstanding restaurant. It was a big night for Philadelphia because remember Ellen Yen at Fork that I also yeah. interviewed? Yeah. She won Best Restaurant Tour. So a huge night at the Beat Awards for that city, the, a city of brotherly love. But, you know, I, I, I had to bring back the Assassin's Handbook. Because the Assassin's They are also handbook. so well known. This rum, it's cognac, Jamaican rum, Averna, mulled wine shrub, and habanero. But, but they're known for their cocktails, especially people go in just to just sit here. at the bar. Yeah, And, and they, it's just... A delightful place. Small. You you should take Nicole and uh, Sean on a little double date. Sure. F uh, listen, Philly's always. Ooh, Philly is great is, food. Ooh, the spot. Mm. Ooh, was, yeah, you like the assassin. Got a little oh hot yeah, hot baby. It's got it, a little it, kick. Did it, did it assassinate It just it you? assassinated me. It's yeah. a kick. Wow. Yeah. It's a wow. kick. Mm. I love Philly. All right. Good to know, Everybody folks. Loves Philly. Noted. You'll get. Boy, I got a <laughs> reservation. By the way. Yeah, thanks for the reservation. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. You've done that for me it's before. Just slowing down. It's just going. Down oh yes. So wet. Just hitting the larynx.